hamari brothers and sisters is very important to have the consecration of our families to the sacred heart of jesus and it's also very important to have a picture of sacred heart of jesus be uh, exposed or kept in your home in with the utmost reverence and consecrate the whole family to the sacred heart of jesus and every family should have a sacred heart of jesus picture where we should have a special devotion to the sacred heart of jesus praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus you know we all know the divine mercy picture from there in the picture we can see there is a, a blue light and red light flowing from the heart of jesus from the side of jesus it symbolizes the eucharist and the sacraments especially the baptism and the eucharist and that symbolizes the sacraments that comes out of jesus and the church is born from the side of jesus and there is a historical reason historical reason why this side of jesus is very important why this blood and water is coming from the side of jesus we all know jesus himself said once if you destroy this temple i will build the uh, temple in 3 days this temple will be destroyed but i will build the temple in 3 days and it is written he was talking about his body his body is he himself is the new temple in the history of jewish culture every passover day they used to sacrifice more than 200 200000 lambs 200000 unblemished lambs used to be sacrificed on the day of passover and the whole temple of jerusalem especially where the, the courtyard where the sacrifice of the animals are done full of blood and after that after each sacrifice they pour water and then clean the area and therefore the whole area of the jerusalem temple especially where the sacrifice of the animal takes place there are two three places in the holy temple first one holy of holies then the holy place and the courtyard and that is where the sacrifices of the lambs are taking place and just imagine 200000 animals are sacrificed on the same day at the same time and in the same place and how much blood is going to come out most many of the blood they collect it and they sprinkle it and and later from the side of the jerusalem temple there is a, a there is a tunnel a hole through which all these blood and water used to flow out and from the side of the temple it is it is said it is side of the temple there is a pipe or there is a where tunnel from through which the whole water and blood comes out and it is it is a it is a very important yes, a scene that people all see every passover day and the same way jesus when he died on mount calvary as soon as he died we see the side of jesus is pierced and from there blood and water is oozing out and people remembered the jerusalem temple and jesus the new temple praise the lord praise the lord from the side of jesus the blood and water is oozing out and jerusalem temple is the symbol of the whole israel jesus the new temple is the symbol of the new israel praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you father thank you father and with these the whole church is containing in jesus christ and therefore let us remember that pierced heart of jesus from where the blood and water is oozing out for you and for me and we are all washed in the precious blood and water of jesus praise the lord